So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P2A00 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P2A00 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit range performance bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And then they also have heater elements built in that do a few things. They help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And they also monitor the catalytic converter since if it starts to heat up too much it's a sign that it's failing and the onboard computer seen a problem with one of these sensors so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to know why and some possible causes well it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring like an open or a short could be a blown fuse and possibly an exhaust leak so be sure to look for any exhaust leaks because if you do have an exhaust leak it could throw these sensors off so be sure to keep a lookout for that but the first thing to do is to go locate this bank one sensor one oxygen sensor the sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor it's going to be located before the catalytic converter and sensor two is going to be called the downstream it's going to be located after the catalytic converter and it's always a good idea to go get a diagram where the oxygen sensors are located on your particular honda since there can't be some differences it's going to vary on the engine the year things like this for example here's a 2012 honda odyssey and as you can see bank one sensor one is going to be right here and so the first thing to do is to go locate this sensor and then once you locate the sensor the next thing to do is to check out the wiring real good be sure everything is plugged in there's no bad connections open shorts anything like this Basically, just keep in mind that anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also, keep in mind that these are going to be on a fuse. Sometimes it could be kind of vague on which fuse it is, and then sometimes it's a little more clear. For example, here's a 2013 Kia Optima, and downstream O2 sensor, upstream O2 sensor would be sensor 1, which is right here. And if that was the blow, then it could cause an issue. Sometimes there's also a relay, so keep that in mind. And so if you got there, you check that all out. The wiring looks good. There's no blowing fuses or anything like that. Then very likely that sensor has failed. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing them. But at this point, very likely it has failed. One thing to keep in mind with these sensors is that sometimes you need this special tool to get them out and get them back in. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the Honda. For example, right here, you could probably get on it with an open end wrench, but sometimes they're recessed down into the exhaust like this. And so you need that special tool to get in and get around that wire to get them back out. So if you do go buy a new sensor, be sure to get that special tool. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P2A00 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.